in God's eyes, I want to be right. I want to be good. I want to be okay. And in, in God's eyes, that's how I felt. And in, des in that desire, I pursued all these things people told me to do to try to be a certain way. Yeah, yeah. And ultimately what that led to was not Christ-likeness, but assimilation into them, yeah. whatever their thing was. Exactly. And then because of my naivete, because of my youthfulness, because of my ignorance, I assumed if I become more like those people who say they're godly, mm -hmm. I'll automatically get God. Exactly. But that wasn't true. Yeah. That wasn't the case. I wasn't getting more of God by automatically being like such and such. I got more of God when I became more like myself. Yeah. When I became true to who God said I'm supposed to be. What's going on? It's Sean Tanner with the Track Stars and Holy Culture Radio. I'm here with the legend, Tadashi. Woo! How you doing, I'm man? well, brother. Good to see you, man. So good to see you. Yeah. Oh, man. I... The last time you came to the studio, you came a couple times. Mm -hmm. I learned so much from when you shot that video. I, I forgot oh, to tell you about this. Word. I remember looking back at the video and being like, because the way your your videographer came in and set up lights and stuff, I was yeah. like, I'm getting ideas. Ah, I got you. did everything since. So you For real? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to come yeah, back. Come yeah, back. we got to do it. Man, so I feel like you've lived a whole life since the last time I saw you. You ain't lying, bro. I ain't been? lying. I've been good, though. It's a good season, man. I, t I was talking to somebody earlier. I feel like I was talking to Rockstar like, uh, or Jay, one of them. I was like, man, this is a moment of it's a season of progress. Like, it feels like progress is happening. So it's one of those things where I'm enjoying it. I'm, I'm grateful for it. That's awesome. Yeah, you bro. finish your home studio? I did. did. I did. Yes, I did, man. So we got everything set up. So I'm, I put I put a, a a movie theater screen in, okay. and then projector, and then I that'll be my for my podcast. That's how I'm going to interview people. Oh, so on Zoom, they'll be on the screen, but they'll oh, see me sitting man. in the room, and it'll be a whole thing. And then um, for the studio itself, I got everything set up. So since I saw you, I started uh, voice acting, and then I started acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. And so. Uh, uh, I got my whole spot set up for that as well as for music. And then I'm about to start my Twitch channel because I, I really do like playing video games. Yeah. But I grew up in a in an era where people was like, you grown now. Don't be doing that. Yeah. And people, I remember pastors used to be like, man, you get off the video games. Paul said, when I became a man, I put away childhood. I'm like, dang, bro. And now I look up and I'm like, folk out here making millions playing yeah. video games, yeah. sir. I'm listening to this dude. So I, I, I'm dusting off Madden. I'm getting ready. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I gotta come see it, man. I'm, yeah, pull I, up. I remember hearing the vision and now. Yes, bro, it. pull up. I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. So I, I feel like you've been, you've been kind of just like unafraid to be yourself now. Yes. Like on social media, I see like you just posting stuff that I know people hate. Mm -hmm. you know I, mean? I know mm -hmm. they hate. Very much so. Like, this is what I. This, this, this is, is who I, I am. Yes. How yes. has that been, man? Like, what what was the. What do you think happened to where you were just like, I just got to be me. I don't care if we lose fans. I don't care. If yeah. Don't yeah. This, this is what I care about. When I went a year and a half ago, I went to uh, I went to Florida. And so I, how we grew up, bro, we didn't do vacations. Like vacation was when it was summertime and you went to go see your cousins. Like yeah, yeah. that was vacation. Yeah. Like, I didn't know the life of like, we finna go to Disneyland or we finna do it. Like I didn't know that life. So I have never taken a vacation for myself. Like I never went somewhere on my own and did anything. Yeah. I was always, it was always because of music or because of family or work, yeah. something. Yeah. So I ended up going to, um, I ended up going to Pompano Beach, Florida, yep. and I got down there and I started doing um, a two day sabbatical. Never did that before in my life. Never took a break like that. The whole time I was stressed. I was like, man, I need to get this done. I need to get this I done. Finish. I feel lazy. I feel like, and then, you know, then I feel bad because I'm like, man, then I left my wife. She, she at home with the kids. Like, I'm feeling horrible. I'm like, yo, this is not the move. So I, I said, man, I feel like one of the biggest things I need to learn to do is just say, I'm going to stop and trust God. Like whether you call it Sabbath, call it fasting. I don't know call it what you want to call it. I just stopped. And during that time, I felt like I heard God speak mm -hmm. in a real way and was like, you're not doing everything I told you to do. Wow. You're not being everything I created you to be. And so from that moment, I stepped out and was like, it's time to be me, like fully myself, not on some. And this is the funny thing. When you say it that way, it automatically gets shunned or ridiculed because people assume it, it's akin to rebellion. Like, oh, you finna be yourself, man. You, I mean, you out here trying to be opposite God or you finna do something that God ain't pleased with because too much of self is a bad thing. And it's like, man, but not being my full true self 
is also a disservice to God. It's also dishonoring to a God who made me in his image the way he has me to be. So I just had to own it, bro. You know what I think it is? Um, I think a lot of the people that may have um, rebelled against what you did, I think they felt like they were kind of controlling us in a sense. They were using our talent, but they had us under control. And now it's like they don't have us under yeah. control. What's yeah. going to happen? You know what's going to happen? Yeah. What's going to happen? There is a there is a place where I go, I want to be in God's eyes. I want to be right. I want to be good. I want to be OK. And in God's eyes, that's how I felt. And in, des in that desire, I pursued all these things people told me to do to try to be a certain way. Yeah, yeah. And ultimately what that led to was not Christ-likeness, but assimilation into them, yeah. whatever their thing was. Exactly. And then because of my naivete, because of my youthfulness, because of my ignorance, I assumed if I become more like those people who say they're godly, mm -hmm. I'll automatically get God. Exactly. But that wasn't true. Yeah. I wasn't the case. I wasn't getting more of God by automatically being like such and such. I got more of God when I became more like myself. Yeah. When I became true to who God said I'm supposed to be. And they have to trust you. If they if they if they, they, tr you, if they walk with me and love me, they yeah. gotta trust me. They have to trust That's you. It. You're listening to God just like them. <laughs> yes. And it may not look the same. And it may not look the same. Things that matter yeah. to you. But I but so what honestly what we do now like this thing called Christian hip hop. It is a testament in and of itself to the, to the idea that I'm going to do it my way different than the norm. And it's going to be okay. Yeah. Like I can't tell you the number of churches I got kicked out of yeah. early on doing, doing Christian hip hop. Yeah. Like I remember being in a church in LA, a church in Houston. I was in a church in Dallas. I, I mean, a bunch of different places, but I remember being in these churches and I walked in and they was like, Hey, hey, pull your pants up. And I'm like, my pants are up. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah. Hey, man, what you finna do? You finna rap? Yeah. But man, I don't know about that, brother. Oh, man, what you got on a hat? Let me talk to you about that, brother. Mm -hmm. All these different things that would dictate who I'm supposed to be yeah. to fit their mold. I mean, tradition, their God. And I was like, nah, still, I'm off of that. I'm moving on now. I'm going to be authentically who I am, yeah. and it's going to be okay. I don't think you know how much you blessed me last time we talked, man. This is, this is back when, you know, me and my wife were dealing with miscarriage. Mm -hmm. You yep. kind of shared your story with me and it really helped. Since then, we've had a daughter. Congratulations, uh, man. Yeah, no, yeah. And and just your story and just everything you told me that day just gave me hope. You know, like yeah. I can make it through it and yeah. all of that. So I know that's what you care about. I know that's what you put in your music. Well, I, I just want to take a moment, bro. I'm celebrating. You know, I, I didn't know y'all had a little girl, man. That's so dope. Right after that. How old is she now? She's four. And that was when you were there. It was wow. Wow. It's amazing, man. So I just want to thank you for that. Man, you're welcome, bro. God is good, bro. Uh, I saw so dope, bro. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. So I, I eventually want, we've got to talk about your music, man. Yeah. I know that's why you do it. You care about the people that you're, that, yeah. you know, for years. We, we've known you for a long time. What, what, what is this one about? What are, what's this part one and part two? What, what's your heart? So Dead or Alive comes from this idea that I get to choose whether or not I'm going to be alive or not. De am I going to choose death? Am I going to choose life? It's dead or alive. You decide. And in my life, I've been forced to face that question often yeah. to, to, to choose which one I'm going to have. Um, dead or alive comes off the heels of me just realizing I've had so many near death experiences in my life that I feel like choosing life had to become a real thing. It wasn't just doing life. It had to be choosing it before I could do it because so many moments of hardship came about. So, you know, you, you talk about different people and what they think or whatever. So uh, I'll do this. Like, so I got this new arm tat um, and I don't know if people can see it or not, but you can like, so Moses part in the Red Sea, because I feel like my life is a testimony of God making a way out of no way. Wow. And then above it, you have angels, yeah. but every angel on the tat represents a near death experience wow. where I know like if God didn't step in, I would have died. Um, and so dead or alive comes from that real place of like, man, I was supposed to be gone, but I'm still here. God got me. He got me for real. Um, and so the music is there to kind of help present that question to people in a real way. Like, are you, are you choosing to live today? Not just doing life, but are you choosing to live? Whatever that means for you. Yeah, man. That's really good, man. So um, what's interesting, I, I, heard, I was hearing you talk about some of your, your experiences. And yeah. You mentioned fire over and over. Yeah, bro. What's crazy is I had similar experiences, but mine were all water. Really? Yeah, with drowning, uh, 
uh, I had not all water, but losing oxygen. Yeah. My, yeah. my death experience. Wow. So it's just interesting to see you were going through something similar mm -hmm. from a different mm -hmm. perspective. Yes, bro. So let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about the music. What's your favorite track on this? The first part one. And what are I, I'm I'm so curious to what part two is gonna sound like. Yeah. Part one, I love what you did with. Thank you, bro. Thank what, you. What, what's coming? What's your favorite? And what should be excited? Yeah. So, part one was was a moment of being true to myself, right? Like I'm I'm on Reach Records. People know Reach. They know Lecrae. They know Trip Lee. They know Andy. They know myself. They know all the younger artists that are coming up. One K Few, RG, Wande, like Hovey is killing it. They know us. So I'm like, okay, I have been kind of open to doing different sounds of music yeah. because I grew up listening to so much stuff. My mom sang in blue, my mom, she sang in blues clubs. She sang in church. My stepdad listened to country most of my life and blues. I grew up with soul, pop, R and B, hip hop. Like I grew up with all these different influences. So I'm open to doing all of those. Yeah. Um, and what really hit for people, I did this record called gotta live yeah. and featuring Jordan Feliz. And it was a huge win in a sense of like, people loving the record mm -hmm. from the CCM spaces, black church space, like all these different people love that record. So the label was like, oh, so we gonna run that back? Mm -hmm. Like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We running that back? And I said, nah, man, God wants me to rap. And they were like, what? I said, they said that is rap. I said, yeah, that is, but it's not, it's not hip hop, hip hop. Like it's a different type of hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God wants me to do hip hop. Like I feel like I'm supposed to get on some beats that's more authentic to my culture and make and, and yeah, it. make you yeah. Yeah. mean mug a little bit. Like yeah. all right, and they was like, really now? <laughs> huh, okay. So it really was me saying like, I'm God, I'm I'm following you. Like I believe you want me to do this. So when I did it, and Dead or Alive has been doing so well. They literally was like, hey, man, we sorry. Like, you, you was right. right. You and I just, it, it was just another testament to, I'm just following God. Yeah. I yeah. really am trying to do what God say do. Yeah. So, like, Dead or Alive to me is one of the moments where I'm like, this is a project where God has shown me I ain't through with you. Mm -hmm. So, for me, Victory Lap on that project is one of them joints. Yeah. It's like, it's like, yo, I have to take note of the fact that in the way, in Winning, when I say I'm winning, it's not about competition with anybody else. Yeah. And it's not about trying to be above someone else. It's me. I I know people might say that just to be like, yeah, yeah. promoting it. Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I, I think it's better than part one. And I love part one. Uh, you definitely got to come back to the studio. Yes. Would love share to. Share with us. Would uh, love like, to. I know the fellas want to ask you a bunch of questions. Yeah, it's going down. We're going to have to do it, bro. Right. We're going to have to do it in a heartbeat. I'm so good to see you. Bless you, bro. Appreciate you, dog. For real.